York extended their unbeaten run to five matches to continue their climb away from danger. It was Mansfield who led 1-0 at half-time. Teenager Liam Lawrence on his first start for the Stags. The game, though, would turn on the arrival of Colin Alcide. Late Orient had put together an eight-game and beaten run before the fixture at Field Mill and were just 12 minutes from holding out for a draw when Liam Lawrence eventually put Mansfield ahead. The league gave permission for this fixture to be staged after the rest had been completed and all proceeds went to Mike North's widow, Teresa. The opening goal went to Mansfield's Liam Lawrence. Mansfield haven't won at Meadow Lane since September of 1958. How they would have loved Liam Lawrence's deflected goal to have been the only one of the game. Wayne Corden. Running at Watson, three inside the penalty area, hoping for Corden's cross. Christie's header, and Lawrence scores. Team Bath undone, really, by the work of Wayne Corden on the left side. Good header back across goal by Christie and Liam Lawrence. The really wins this year have come at Luton and Barnsley. It's up into the danger zone. It's Lawrence. It's a winner. It has to be. It must be the winner for Liam Lawrence and for Mansfield. Look at the aggression. Look at the delight. The steward's a bit over vigorous. He's the happiest man in town right now. And Liam Lawrence has come up with his eighth goal of a productive season and struck. In time added here. And it's a vital victory this for Mansfield Town, edging away from the foot of the table. But there is no consolation for the Spyrites. It ends here. Chesterfield 1, Mansfield 2. It was unbelievable um, just to look up and see all the fans. They were going crazy. and uh, I, can't, I can't explain how that feels. It was unbelievable. That's the most important goal this year, easily, um, and last year. Um, that could keep us up at the end of the season. That, that might determine if we, go, if we stay up or, or go down. But Liam Lawrence's fine free kick gave Mansfield hope of nicking a point. Liam Lawrence with the pick of the goals from a deaf free kick. To the top six, while Scunthorpe, who faced Torquay this weekend, are just outside the bottom six. Liam Lawrence took just 14 minutes to give Mansfield the lead. This is 12th of the season. In the FA Cup second round replays, Liam Lawrence was a hat-trick hero for third division Mansfield as they knocked out second division Wickham at 2-2. It was heading to extra time, but a last-minute penalty won it at Field Mill. That was Lawrence's 14th goal of the season. At the Abbey Stage, it Oh, constructive football from Mansfield here with Disley. Looking to the outside where he finds Christie, who's very left-footed. So cuts back, finding Lawrence. There's a man on Lawrence's right. Lawrence may go for goal instead. He does do! What a thriller of a strike from Liam Lawrence. He's the man all right. And that's what Rotherham United wanted to purchase. High skill, terrific technique. Fabulous shooting power, and it's York nil, Mansfield won. Mansfield happy to play for a bit of time as well. They have the lead, of course, and these could be really precious points for them. It's got through to Larkin, it's touched back for Lawrence. Goal number three for Mansfield Town, and it had to come from their leading scorer, their talisman, their man of the season, Liam Lawrence, with his 22nd goal. And what a blow to Huddersfield Town's hopes of going up. Struck emphatically by Liam Lawrence, but that goal has been coming. It's his fourth goal in the last three games, and he took it delightfully.